Supernatural Stories Aswang Part 2 That was my first Aswang encounter. I thought I would never encounter them again, but I was wrong. Those creepy monsters are always following me, especially when I'm pregnant. This happened when I was pregnant with my youngest daughter. My husband was assigned to Iloilo, so he bring us with him. We lived in Molo Balwar to Iloilo City at his brother's house. The place is a squatter's area made of bamboo and floating over the sea. It's my first time walking on a bamboo road. Yes, it's a bamboo road. Just try to imagine it. All around you are floating and made of bamboo. From the road to all of the houses around you. At first, it was very difficult for me to walk. My feet were trembling every step of the way. I felt like I'm going to fall into the sea. The bamboo house is not bad at all, but we are situated in the last row. No neighbor, only the pigs. The pig's house is on our front, and you can't imagine how it smells if the wind blows directly at our house, and the restroom is much more difficult for me. They just made a hole on the bamboo floor and voila! No need to flush at all. Magic. Please excuse me for those who are eating while reading. Thank you for understanding. Then, all of a sudden, I will meet my best friend Aswang again. Just kidding. Night time has come. The surroundings are very quiet. You can only hear the pigs, dogs, and birds. Never did I think that a swang still exists in Iloilo too. Just what the F? One time, I'm washing plates. As you all know, the wall and everything is made of bamboo. You can see the outside, but unfortunately, it's creepily dark. I was busy washing plates when I suddenly heard a soft howling. I can't exactly describe it because the howling is that loud. It's soft in my ears. So I can't identify what kind of animal it is. But only dogs and wolves can howl, right? My gods told me it's a dog. But where is the dog? As far as I'm concerned, their dog puppy is in the living room watching television with them. So, where did the dog come from? There's no one here in the kitchen. It's impossible to on the outside as there are no neighbors. And the road stop at our house because we are in the last row. Unless the dog is floating in the air outside. Wah, a ghost dog? Just kidding. The howling continued and I felt chilled all over my body. But I didn't mind it and continued washing until Brother Bert called me. He said to leave the plates immediately. I wondered why. Then, he explained that there is an aswang in the kitchen. So, he went there and cast an enchantment spell. The howling was gone after that incident. I became very alert as my baby is not safe in this place. And I have my two daughters with me too. Brother Bert also healed those people who are suffering from an explainable allergy in the skin. It's a wound that never healed. It's called Buyag in here. He will just hong hong or whisper enchantment spells on the affected area together with his very powerful lana, a magic oil that is made from coconut. His lana is very special to an ordinary one. Because aside from detecting an aswang, it can also heal severe wounds. This lana will boil if aswang is lurking near your house. And I can guarantee that it truly healed your wounds. Because one time, my feet got stuck in the bamboo floor. After that, it leaves scratches and wounds. It's very painful that I wanted to cry. Then, in an instant, after putting the lana oil, the pain was gone. It's like a pain reliever. One time, Brother Bert and his wife attended a wedding in Gimaras together with the children. They left the house to us. Even Puppy their dog went with them too. My husband is on the night shift. Only the three of us left, me and my two daughters. We are watching the division when I heard a pig sound. I panicked and thought that it is a swang. It's a false alarm. It's a real pig from our neighbor, pig house, who falls in the sea. Good thing it is low tide, they can able to save the pig. Evening came and we finished our dinner. 
While watching the television, the kids fall asleep. Then suddenly, I heard a big footsteps above the roof. My body immediately went to the windows and closed it. And I quickly ran to close the door too. I went to our room and closed the door. The footsteps are so loud and noisy. I'm very nervous at that moment in my life. It can never be a cat as its footsteps are big and loud. I wanted to cry but I did not. I need to be strong. I just pray and never sleep until the morning. I'm very thankful that nothing happened to the baby inside my womb. I told my husband but he just laughed at me. I begged him to exchange his shift in the morning as I can sleep in the night listening to the footsteps on the rooftop. Brother Bert and his family went home. That made me feel at ease. At least I can now sleep in the night. But I was wrong. I became paranoid and cannot sleep at all because every night the footsteps on the rooftop are always there. One time, Brother Bert cast a spell. Then the footsteps above were running, leaving the rooftop. That was what I heard. Brother Bert said that once he cast a spell, the swung will feel uneasy as if their body was burning. So they can stay and will fly away from you. But still, even though Brother Bert was there, I can't sleep anymore because of anxiety and nervousness. And it's not good for my health as I am pregnant. I beg my husband to go home and find other ways that he can be assigned again in Cebu. Luckily, there was a vacant job in Cebu, so we are going back home at last. Brother Bert gave me a five words Latin. He said it is not a spell that you need to do an offering and prayers. You will just simply read the Latin words once you went out of your house to keep you safe. So the Latin words are for you and your family's safety every time you travel or you go out in your house. He even wrote it in a piece of paper and gave it to me. He also gave me the lana oil but unfortunately, I lost my wallet and so the lana oil and my amulet are inside. I just thought that finally, I'm going home away from all the Aswan. But I'm wrong again. They are always there following me. And never did I thought that those Latin words Brother Bert that gave me will come in handy. And that's all for today. Thank you for listening. If you want to know what happened next, please hit the subscribe button. Have a good day everyone.